<laughs> okay, we're at uh, Buffalo Airport here with Grandma Jan <laughs> and uh, Diane is going to come with me. We're going to go up to Bemidji today. So uh, I'm going to stop where at the uh, Madden Golf Club or something. I think so. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, that's a, like and both. I think it's a seaplane base too. Um, so yeah, we fueled up and that's it. We'll have a nice tailwind up there. We'll see you in the air. <laughs> Bye, Grandma Jan. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just realized I'm not recording. Okay. Yeah. That's a shame. We didn't get our eagle. No. Here. Checklist, checklist, checklist. Yeah, okay. I need to put the GoPros on there. Head towards the lake. I know. I'm not going to the lake very well, am I? Want a bigger turn? Okay. Hello. <laughs> Bird, not an eagle. All right, do you, who, who has the aircraft? You now have the I aircraft, do? Okay. Yeah. I'm still going up. Is that just the you're good. choppiness? You're, you're, you're doing fine. Okay. Okay, you have I the have aircraft? The, I have the aircraft. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We didn't enter the Class D airspace. That's good. Very good. Um. Princeton to be just east of St. Cloud, about 20, 30 miles, between 20 and 30 miles. And there's a fairly big airstrip there because of a drug dealer named Casey Ramirez, who <laughs> expanded it. Oh, Princeton, it. there it is. Are we going to go over it? It's over there, no. Oh, okay. Back a little way. Probably right. down that road there is the print road to Princeton. Oh, okay, straight from, yeah, yeah straight from, uh, that's where I grew up. Yes. We can fly over there if you want. D did I show you that video? News expose about Casey Ramirez because he moved into town. And... I remember you saying about yes, it. Yes, the, the town was made slightly infamous because this drug dealer, essentially, was flying... Dr he, he built the airport bigger so he could fly his jet in, and it was basically packed full of yeah. drugs. He bought the um, police department two new police cars. Everyone in town loved him. He was giving all this money away. <laughs> so what What was his cover story? I don't know. But what What they finally got him on was that when he was flying in, he, he just happened to miss every single um, bit of uh, radar in the country. He would fly all the way from Florida or the Caribbean. Yeah. Hurting every bit of radar. <laughs> all the way up to Minnesota where he'd land. That was in the 80s. I guess another cocaine cowboy story. Right. Yeah, we've got all this uneven lift. Look, we're going up 500 feet per minute right now. It'll probably come down 500 feet per minute. Yeah, it felt weirder when I was trying yeah, to hold see, it. Yeah, that's the midday still. thing. It's the une uneven heating of the land. Yeah. Now we're coming down. Best thing is just not to fight that and just let it go. Little Falls. Oh, we're near Little Falls and Charles Lindbergh. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, Broward somewhere around here too. Then. Yeah, that's just over there. Oh, is that where the Charles Lindbergh house is? Yeah. Ah, we stopped there, didn't we? Yeah. There's an airport there <laughs> for the way back. Charles A. Lindbergh Field, yeah. Little Falls. Or is it a uh, state park now? It is, but is there's, there's, a, there's a field there. Kind of runway. Got grass and asphalt. Looks like we've got a little quarry down here. Maybe granite? St. Cloud has a lot of granite. Well, yeah, the further north you get, the more granite you have, too. But they have the Iron Range, too. That's where Bob Wren comes from, that area. I see. That would all be taken out the Great Lakes direction. Had Charles listen to the the ballad of the Edmunds Fitzgerald on the way here too. Okay. Have you heard that or do you know it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you played me that. Okay. Gordon Lightfoot or something, yeah. right? Yep. East Gull Lake. Silver Air Coop is two miles south, uh, inbound for landing. East Gull Lake. Field traffic, Skyliner 069 is final, 16 Todd Field, full stop. 
Is that it? Straight ahead? I believe so, yeah. Wow, this is cool. I must say, I don't think I ever thought we'd ever be in an airplane of Minnesota. Right, I know. That looks pretty decent, doesn't it? East Gull Lake Silver Coop is on a uh, left downwind for runway 13, East Gull. Do we see anywhere to eat? I don't actually see anywhere down there. You want to try it? Sure. Yeah, this is vacation land here. This is everyone going up to the cabin and to the resorts. Oh, uh, yeah. Very popular place, I believe. I almost think I have a schoolmate, high school friend uh, around here. East Gull traffic, Silver Coop turning left base, runway 13, East Gull. Looks decent, good condition, long enough. Gonna be a bit lump bumpy on landing. Okay. Too bad though, just bumpier than concrete, obviously. And East Gold traffic, Silver Red Coop, final 1-3, uh, East Gold. A little bit of a crosswind. Wasn't very lumpy at all. No, good condition. They're mowing it right. What's that? Somebody's mowing over there yeah. right now. <laughs> oh, milkweed for the monarch. East Gold traffic, Silver Echo, back taxiing one three to the uh, parking area. Well, this is cool. We stopped in at a little grass strip that we saw which is apparently on this golf course and uh, I think there might be a restaurant nearby so we're going to get some food I like these grass strips, really smooth too compared to the other one we, we landed on this is uh, Gold Lake Airport and we're going to get some food Seems like a nice place for lunch. It might, it might not be, we just had a very nice lunch here on the deck. We're dodging deadly golf balls here. Yeah? Trying to get back to the air coop. Wish us luck. <laughs> I could get used to these grass runways. <laughs> to add some detail to this takeoff, I analyzed the video and the data from my Sentry AHAS GPS device. From those sources, I came up with some takeoff performance figures that I'll show you shortly. East Gull Lake is a 2600 foot grass runway with good condition turf and no slope. Wind was from the south at 10 miles per hour and, temp and the temperature was 76 degrees Fahrenheit. We were two up, half full wing tanks and 25 pounds worth of baggage. Just under gross weight, 1400 pounds. Gold Lake traffic, Silver Air Coop is back taxiing runway 13, Gold Lake. Might as well go on the runway, probably a bit smoother. Don't want to prop strike. No. No, thank you. Oh, Kofa. Ground squirrel. See him? Yep, that's a striped gopher. Striped this is The other name for the state is the Gopher State. Right. So the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. Yes. I'm one. 
There we go. The orange flower's out there too. I think it's a, is that orange milkweed? I started my takeoff roll about 300 foot back from the start of the runway. No point in having perfectly good grasp behind me. As you can see from the illustration here, the distance to wheels up was about 1400 feet, 2200 feet to 50 feet altitude, and I was about 130 foot up by the end of the runway. Honda is on and out. Okay. The wind is coming from over there again, okay. That's better on this real runway. Take off onto a lake. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's good. I just saw trees and went, does that go right into the trees? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey. Back on our way. All right. Gull Lake traffic, Silver Coop turning left crosswind for runway 13, Gull Lake. So the O200 and its 46 inch pitch prop did pretty well. I wasn't too uncomfortable on that takeoff. Oh, another golf course over here. Yeah. Keep it low. Got wind surfing down there. Look at all these lakes. Just, just little isthmuses and Any seaplanes anywhere? Peninsulas. Uh, haven't seen one yet. Lots of little resorts and there's some... They're gonna fly over where we went. Cool. Yeah, have a look down there. Oh, I cut that a bit fine. Oh, there's so many little canals and lakes and islands. Yeah, the shorelines are pretty built up along this lake. Yeah. Guess it's a lake to be on. John Madden was here. What's that? John Madden's here. <laughs> No, he wasn't. That might be wild rice patch. Where? <laughs> that could be. Oh, really? Could be, yeah. Unless I was close, I couldn't really. It tell. grows in the in the shallow water. Yeah. Ah. And then the Indians would go in canoes and just. I think they had a like baskets, and then they'd have like a stick, and they'd just brush it into the bottom of the boat. Okay. And there's a quarry. Gravel? Sand. Gravel. Gravel. Oh, more towers. Yep. Are those marked? Yes. Good. No surprises. <laughs> well, it looks like Uncle Ron's having a good time showing yeah. Charles stuff. I'll climb up a little bit higher here. Seems a bit bumpier up here. But we're going 110 miles an hour. And the skirts are down. It's a good day. A lot more forest. Yeah. Especially over this direction. Yeah. Well, this probably puts uh, Uncle Ron into the uh, most favored uh, uncle status. <laughs> I don't know, but you'll have to tell Rich he'll have to up his game if he wants to... Uh, <laughs> Take the lead again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
step that doesn't see so, seem so epic when you do it in bite-sized pieces, right? Right. It's just very pleasant. The Bidji Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. One, nine, nine, five, five. Zulu weather. Wind. One, six, zero. At one, zero. Gust. One, four. Visibility. One, zero. Ceiling. Eight thousand five hundred. A lot of northern Minnesota as well was all cut down for lumber long ago. Right. Late 1800s. So this is not old growth? Probably not. There's probably patches of it. Yeah. It could be Bemidji Lake. Oh, we're that close? Yeah. yeah oh, wow. 16 minutes out. Oh, wow. I didn't know. Where's my... Oops. There's my bloomers. Where's my uh, phone? I've lost my phone. There it is. Bemidji traffic, Silver Air Coupe is 10 miles to the south of the field, inbound for landing. Bemidji. I think we'll go around there and like that. Okie dokie. I hope we see a bear up here with Charles. Ready? Yep. Where would you like to see that? As we're walking on the road? I plan on smearing peanut butter all over me and walking <laughs> down the road. <laughs> Let's fly over, babe. I think I see a bit of blue. Oh, you better get some video. Here's my camera. Yeah. Okay. The Midi traffic over at Coop is uh, four and a half miles south. We'll be setting up for left traffic, one three, Bemidji. Tiny blue ox. That couldn't possibly have left all those flakes. Bemidji traffic, Cessna 60962 is about seven miles to the north, uh, maneuvering, Bemidji. Uh, Bemidji traffic, Silver Air Coupe is on an extended left downwind for runway 13, Bemidji. <laughs> Bemidji traffic, Silver Air Coupe is left downwind, runway 13, Bemidji. Detroit Lakes traffic, Cirrus 25 through Echo, Jam West, straight in, runway 13, Detroit Lakes. Look for the top box. Oh yeah, because they have that little regional, right? Yeah. Did you fly in here? Yeah. Yeah. Out of and then when we get a beam, the numbers that we want to land on, I pull the throttle. Boom. Now we should just descend. Bemidji traffic, silver air coupe, turning left base, runway 13, Bemidji. Bemidji traffic, silver air coupe, turning final, runway 13, Bemidji. There's no tower? No. Yeah, hey, you would have thought it would have been. Just the same as Nevada County Airport. Same length? What's that? Same length as well? No. Bemidji traffic, Silver Air Coupe is off runway 13, Bemidji. We had a great time up in Bemidji, staying with Diane's dad and Dar. Charles got to go fishing on the lake and everyone caught enough fish for a nice fish fry dinner. They're out there fishing. Bonfires, fishing and Papa made for a memorable time for Charles. Thanks for sticking with me on these shorter family trips in Minnesota. 
The hardcore flying of the return trip will resume again shortly. See you soon. Please like and subscribe. There's a loon.